why don't we um, just uh, get started? So let me um, bring up the PowerPoint here. Okay, so the, uh, today's meeting is really just a kind of check in, check in progress uh, meeting to see where we are um, in uh, the overall research and you know writing and design phase of the project. Uh, so uh, obviously this is our third third meeting, and uh, today is June uh, eighth. Time flies. Uh, here's today's uh, meeting agenda. So uh, we'll talk about the status of the three uh, properties and the various signs there. Uh, talk about where we are in the overall schedule. Uh, our next meeting will be uh, Tuesday, July 13th. So please put that uh, in your calendar. And then obviously, if there's any questions or comments at the end, we can um, certainly um, take care of that. So once again, uh, the reason we're here uh, to work on these three properties and the associated uh, five interpretive uh, sign exhibits that we're uh, planning to construct with our Connecticut Humanities Grant. Um, here's our project schedule, and here we are in the in the schedule. So, uh, based on our original schedule um, and where we are time wise, uh, we should really be getting very close to the first draft of the signage uh, and the contents of the signs, as well as um, a good good idea uh, about the images you would like uh, to use. So that puts us. Um, you know, no, about two months away from having these final designs uh, completed and ready to go uh, to the uh, manufacturer. Uh, and then obviously in the fall, we'll get them manufactured and with an installation no later than November 15th to keep in line with the grant requirements. So we're kind of in the middle of the uh, middle of the action right now. Um, so um, in terms of the old Weathersfield business and attractions map and directory, um, Phil, probably you and I, maybe, I'm not sure of your schedule, but maybe next week we can get together. There have been a couple of new businesses um, added to the mix in old Weathersfield since you and I uh, last uh, met. So I kind of have been holding off and until we get as close to the end of this as possible to make those uh, edits. But maybe we should at least uh, get together and kind of talk through how many of those there are and uh, just make sure we've got a, got a good uh, handle on it. And then as the other panels get finalized, you know, we still have to put the map at the bottom and give the credits and, you know, those kinds of things at the bottom of the imagery and we can coordinate that with, uh, with David. Absolutely can do. Okay, you, uh, you're around uh, next week? I am. Okay. Perfect. Otherwise, um, yeah, otherwise I think ours is, you know, pretty much ready to go except for those, um, you know, business updates. And is this the place for the little brochure to be updated? And that's going to change significantly. Yeah, that will change significantly. So if you, um, if you want to start thinking about that and or talking to David about that, obviously we have to extend the geography of the map all the way down to Middletown Avenue, adding Trinity and adding the, you know, the map kiosk uh, doesn't really change the geography of the uh, overall uh, map. But um, so, yeah, you may want to may you may want to start looking at that a little bit. OK. OK, well, let's jump right into an update from um, from Trinity. Uh, church so tina if you want to jump in here or whoever else um uh, you've been working on and kind of give us a, a status of where you're at and whether you've got some any issues or questions that you know we we can um we can help you with sure um i'll start and then rose can jump in if she has anything to add um we just got our first draft back from gilly with um comments you know and um we're happy, we're um, excited. Um, all of our pictures are on the uh, Dropbox with Dave. And um, I actually did a mock-up on just for fun with Microsoft Publisher 
shared it with Rose just to see if everything might fit. <laughs> I went to measure a sign and <laughs> um, it looks like it might fit. And the word count is over 400, but less than the six, approximately 600 on the congregational churches. Uh, okay. Sounds, sounds good. Mm. David, yep, David, you want to jump in? How, uh, how you, what, what kind of imagery we have and that kind of thing? Do you think um, you've got some good stuff there or is there any yeah, need for? Yeah, we've been going back and forth quite a bit and um, it's it's pretty pretty complete. Um, just waiting for the, the final text to come in to me and stuff like that. Um, um, one thing we, we found as we're going through this that's helpful um, that they were going to um, also include a listing of all the photos um, that, that we decided to use that were current anyway, um, because some some come in and out of the mix. Um, it's nice to have a list for me, make sure that I'm, I'm current and I, I know which ones are the, you know, there's like a three tier, like a most important, you know, lesser and least. So I know what to, what to, um, what to use the biggest and what to not, you know, emphasize as much. Um, that's going to be very helpful to me anyway. Um, and um, we also just went back and forth discussing that um, this, at this stage, when I first get the text and pictures, um, it really doesn't have to be final, final with, I'm certainly willing and, and, and anticipate a, a, a back and forth with the design um, until everybody's pleased with it. You know, I'm, I'm going to give it my best shot and I might have emphasized something that shouldn't have been or whatever. Um, totally. And when they, when they see the first design, they might decide it, that they want to emphasize something else. So please don't hesitate to, to, you know, to give me that back and forth. I, I certainly don't mind. And, and for what it's worth, I think the first time around on some of the exhibit panels, we maybe went back and forth 10 times. Um, sometimes even more with different changes and edits, moving things around, uh, editing the narrative. So um, these these do tend to take a quite a bit of massaging to make to make them work both narratively and, and graphically. So, right. um, but sounds like we're getting real close to that first. Getting close to starting on version. Design, yeah, great. And for me, it's 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 a it's a matter of kind of like getting the pictures to work with the text and. In the in text to work with the picture. So there's, there's a lot of give and take on my part um, until I come up with something because um, it might look like it's not going to fit at the beginning, but somehow it always seems to do it. So we'll um, don't hesitate to give it, give it your best shot at this point, but not, not to worry that it's the only shot you'll have. Great. Thank you. Gilly, anything you want to, you want to add uh, from your, from your side of it? Nope, I, I looked over the tests for the panel and it looked good to me. Great, great. Yeah, uh, I shared it with our research librarian at Weathersfield Historical Society as well. And she especially liked the uh, caption that was written for the logo. <laughs> she found it amusing that they went to Scotland to get uh, uh, the fish. The Scott, the fish <laughs> said that they didn't have to. Uh, have the king's consent, <laughs> pray for the king. Yes. Would you like that part? I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Great. Great, I look forward to seeing that then. Great, okay. Uh, Peter, uh, one question I have, um, when, I'm, when I get the, the text and the, and the, the final picture count and stuff, um, you don't want me to hold the design to the next meeting necessarily, right? It's, no, no. Back you, and forth yeah. with each committee. Definitely, yeah. If you've got okay. something, and uh, let's use the time we have in between uh, to go back and forth and make whatever changes or uh, improvements that we can, so that uh, okay. as as we progress at the next meeting, we're uh, getting closer. So I had uh, this this schedule. If we can if we can be ahead of the schedule, uh, by all means, I'm okay, I'm uh, very good with that. So and I'll CC you in on anything that we when I present something like that. That would be great. Okay. Okay. Um, Jim, I think I saw you pop, pop in. Are you, are you out there, Jim Woodworth? I'm here. Beautiful. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Good. Yeah. Sorry to be late. 
but even probably. sorrier that I don't have much to offer at this point. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's not a problem, but, uh, why don't we, um, so we just finished, uh, our conversation with Trinity and, um, unless there's anything else anyone wanted to either add or, um, comment on before we move on. I, I do have a question, Peter. If, yep. if, um, so Gilly's gone through it, um, historical society's um, reviewed our text. Uh, is there another review of the text by another editor at some point? I think uh, I was gonna spend a little bit of time looking at it and you know, just make sure the, the tone and everything is consistent with the others. Um, not, uh, not, not anything for historical uh, accuracy. So once you get that first um, version of it, as, uh, as David said, um, and I, you know, I the first time around when we did this, we had a bunch of folks looking at it. So it was helpful to get other perspectives. Um, you know, as you work on these yourself, it becomes very close to the vest. So when yeah. you get other other perspectives that come at it from a distance, it's sometimes um, very positive. So I would welcome anyone else who might want to also look at these to take a look and, and look at them as well. But I certainly uh, would like to um, to do that. Uh, uh, at a minimum so so can we go ahead and send them to dave first or did you want to see it first uh send them send them to dave and you know dave will also do his thing he'll have his own eyes eyes on it as well as he fits things together so um why don't you work uh with david and then once uh you guys uh have have an initial uh just copy me in on that and we'll we'll go from there the only other thing is that we're waiting we did ask the archivist at the uh Episcopal Church of Connecticut to just review the part that Gilly was talking about, about the logo history and Great. just to have a little extra um, security before we have it all in permanent display. Great. And as I said, there's still a couple months, you know, to get any of those permissions or other edits uh, involved. So don't, uh, don't hesitate to share if you want, you know, that initial feedback and then we can obviously Okay. Uh, as, as I said before, uh, many of the panels that are out there now were edited uh, more times than I they care to mention, just so we got the final the final product right. So, okay. thank you. Sure. Okay. Uh, Peter, one thing that did come up um, working with the Trinity panel um, so far was one of the photos. Um, it was the uh, the Portland Quarry. Um, the Portland Historical Society uh, requested that we not manipulate the photo too much, you no know, silhouetting and stuff like that. That that's kind of if, if that occurs with anybody's photo like that, is that's important information to get to me, um, okay. so that I don't um, go off on a track that something I am not allowed to do. And I, I certainly will, will will work within the bounds. That's not a problem. I just don't want to do something that's not you know not going to be accepted. And if there are you know uh, organizations or or individuals like that who have you know, ask for special um, consideration. We we really should also share, you know, the design with them and and just make sure we get their um, final consent so we don't find out, you know, late in the game that they don't like any aspect of either what we said or uh, how the image looks. So yes, if there are those um, requirements, let's uh, be respectful of whoever they are and give them an opportunity to look at it. So do you want them to see the whole panel or? Yeah, yeah. I think if they have a, if they have a particular concern about, you know, the, the graphic, uh, the imagery and don't want it, you know, um, distorted or changed in any way, we should at least give them the, uh, the courtesy of here, here it is. Um, please take a look and let us know. Um, probably as, as early as in the process as we can in case, you know, we needed to make some changes or maybe even had to change an image, which then might impact the narrative. So. Okay. Okay. Any, anything um, further on that? Obviously, we'll have time at the end as well for any other questions, comments, if something comes up. Okay. Let's Here's move on. Things that are going on. The two, yeah, let, two new uh, panels. Yeah, let's uh, move on to the uh, wood parcel now that Jim is with us and uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll just hand it over to you, to Jim. We're just kind of, me tonight's meeting is really just a uh, status check-in um, with everybody to make sure we're progressing uh, and to identify any uh, 
issues or any assistance you might need uh, to move uh, things along. So I'll, I'll, I'll hand it over to you, Jim, and you can give us a, give us an update. Yeah. My status is uh, I think my, my schedule is now clear so I can concentrate on this. Um, one of the things we're looking for is to really named, nail down the position of the house that isn't there anymore. And Gilly sent that very tantalizing photograph from the Hartford Times that showed the edge of the highway with the house right next to it before they took it down. And uh, Pete and I are going to go out and try to see if we can nail that spot down. <clears throat> and then I, I still think that, the, uh, that Phil's map that he drew 10 years ago is the basis for a, a series of maps that would fit into each of the three panels to position where various things are. Um, but until we know, until I get further into it, <coughs> exactly how to fit each of those maps uh, remains uh, to be seen, I guess. Uh, Dave, thank you so much for sending me that second attempt at going backwards toward my ancient uh, creative suite CS5. And oh my gosh, it, it had all the same complaints about all the uh, add-in things. And so is the dimensions are 24 by 36, is that right? Or something else? Uh, I believe that's correct. So I will create a, a something that's like that and then mess around with it and then eventually uh, send you all the original artwork and our images and and the potential of uh, uh, layout as well as the uh, copy eventually when it gets ready. You, want me, I, you know what I could do? Long ways Go ahead. You know what I could do? I could send you a PDF of, of it that you could use as a background and then create around it. Um, and I, I'll, that's I'll, true. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll give you the text, yeah. the Let's text try that. and size and stuff like that. And you could, you can use that as a, you know, just as a background piece of art. That would be helpful. Yeah. Yeah. With you, you, every, every sign is going to have the onion logo and stuff at the very top or something like that. Yeah, that's correct. And, uh, and a map of where the other panels in the area and, um, a, a, some, a credit area with uh, logos and, who um who was ever sponsoring you know the yeah yeah and, and for sign number two with the elm with the elm restoration project we we have to have uh the nature conservancy and and the uh uh forestry service i think logos as well but that's, and that, uh, that tends to be and that uh, has to, it always doesn't have to be in this that doesn't always have to be in the same space um though i kind of like it at the end or at least at the bottom um but um, yeah, yeah, sometimes we'll that just, around. We'll just line them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but that's about where we're at. Phil, you have a lot of work to do, but you can't do it until like, <laughs> until, until we talk and until we figure something out. I'm here uh, for you. <laughs> I know you are. I appreciate that greatly. <laughs> so we'll, uh, as I said, hopefully the, Connecticut Trail Day weekend is over, except for a few odd things left to do, and uh, we can really concentrate on that. Okay. Hey, Jim, you, you indicated that you're uh, still trying to locate the actual uh, location of the, yeah. of, of the house. At one point, we had an, ex a, an email exchange about getting a copy of the title search so that I could potentially track down through the uh, DOT. Uh, yeah. map, mapping. I never did. Yes. I, I never yeah. did get You're that. Right. We know. All right. So thanks for mentioning that because sure. I think uh, I forget what our archive has said about that. Yeah, I think he. But you know, uh, we'll definitely. He, he, yeah. 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 He said he had it. He had to go find it and uh, was going to send it my way. That would help me narrow down my search in terms of where to look for on some yeah, yeah. engineering okay. drawings. So we might have a a DOT survey that actually shows the location of the house before it uh, uh, either was uh, demolished or acquired or whatever exactly happened. So um, we may have that. Survey yeah, I was astounded. I was astounded to see the photo that the New York, uh, the Hartford Times published that Gilly found that showed the house still there, 
when the highway was there and, and had this wonderful uh, highway sign that was in the same picture. And then I went looking for it and it wasn't there anymore. So Pete and I are gonna see if there's some stump of a piece of hunk of cement that was left over of that, or, uh, you know, just keep looking. Um, there's a hole out there right next to the highway, which looks like a cellar hole. And when I thought it was half under the highway, I thought, well, there's the other half of it, but apparently it's next to the highway within 20 feet or something like that. Uh, and then they took it down after the highway was built. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that, should, that shouldn't take that long, at least to run down whatever lease we have. And then I will, I will definitely get in on that title search thing. Okay, okay. Uh, As I say, I'm, ha I'm happy to do some research for you. That'd be great. That'd be great. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I don't, okay. Yeah. But I, I appreciate all the uh, nudges that I'm getting from Pete and Tina and leads also to follow up some too. So uh, now that I theoretically have freedom to follow them, follow up on them, uh, I will. Uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> So don't hesitate to reach out to us and we can help uh, if we can move you along. All right. Great. Uh, just a reminder in terms of as you uh, lay out your exhibit, some of the rules that we've talked about a couple of times, you know, 400 words or thereabouts, plus or minus, um, you know, as you uh, write the narratives, you know, think of the 40, 45 second rule, uh, people's attention um, span, not that everybody has a 45 second attention span, but Generally, um, you want that focus. Um, having a having a compelling title uh, sounds like first uh, Trinity Church has a compelling title, so that sounds so good so far. Um, obviously, as as many graphics and visual points of interest as you can include, uh, by all means, uh, do that. And the more historic imagery, the better. And then, um, uh, David, you want to speak a little bit about. Um, the resolution issue, it sounds like maybe you have some technology that if uh, it's older imagery uh, that you can maybe, uh, you know, convert it and uh, improve the resolution. But um, how many, what was it, 300 DPI we, at, at a minimum we were looking for? Yeah, 300 DPI is great. Um, I, that's, that's standard printing uh, resolution, high res printing resolution. Um, these panels are not printed at that resolution, I think it's 200. So there is, but if I get the oh, image yeah. at 300, that gives me some leeway to enlarge it and still maintain that high resolution. Um, but I also have software that will help. Um, so don't discard or discount an image that might not meet those requirements because um, sometimes and often I can, I can make it work. Great, okay. And then obviously, uh, as we uh, cite these, uh, and particularly for the wood, the wood property, we need to have them in a uh, safe and comfortable location and that they are as uh, accessible to everybody as, as they can be. So just a, a refresher uh, on the factors for that. Uh, once again, if you do need assistance, um, both David and Gilly are uh, available and certainly reach out to me as well if you need assistance or are hitting uh, any roadblocks, and I'd be happy to contribute some time to the effort uh, as well. And then just a reminder, our next get together uh, is uh, in July, Tuesday, July 13th, same time. And then after that, we have one more meeting uh, to wrap up and finalize uh, the design of these panels. So um, we have two months left uh, to wrap these up, so um, just be mindful of that, uh, and we'll touch base um, on these uh, scheduled dates to make sure we're on, on target. So, And then uh, any other questions or loose ends that anyone wants to uh, throw out there? Um, and also, once again, uh, track, track your time how much time you're spending on this, uh, keep that log. As we say, we have matching uh, requirements. And it also sounds like some of you have reached out to other folks who we may not have uh, envisioned working on that. So if you've got other people that you've reached out to 
and you can get an estimate of how much time they've put in, please uh, make make note of that so that we can uh, uh, meet the minimum matching requirements for the uh, overall project. Anyone has have any questions or comments for the uh, the good of the uh, order or on your particular aspects of the project? Uh, Jim, one other uh, one other thing that I'm thinking about is you and I need to probably uh, take a look at um, some of the alternative um, um, uh, bases that you know. I, I think we decided right. that the, the bases yeah. that we were going to use for yours are going to be different than the others. So I I think I had sent you some uh, manufacturers out there. I don't know if you had a chance to peruse those, but we probably should be um, getting a handle on which one you want to use so I can reach out to the manufacturers and make sure um, there's a schedule and we can keep, um, the, the, if, if you go with one of the standard uh, manufacturers, we, we should not have a problem. But if you come up with something different, uh, it might uh, add time to the manufacturing process. So, uh, and I think you might have some ideas as to what you uh, had in mind, but uh, maybe you and I should talk. Sounds good, yeah, all right. I did have a chance to look at them, but it was so long ago, I have no clue as to what, what I what I looked at, but. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the one, there's a, we have an existing exhibit in front of Lucky Luz for the um, Washington Rochambeau Trail, which is different uh, than the uh, bases we use for the Heritage uh, Walk. So if you're ever out and about yeah. in front of Lucky Luz and you wanna look at that one, uh, that company also makes a single pole um, base, which is pretty much what we've used for the Heritage Walk. Um, it's the same manufacturer, just has a different look and feel. So if you want to look at those whenever you're out and about, otherwise we can just set up a time and uh, pull up the website and, and kind of go through those. Yeah. Have you, have you uh, seen the sites yet, Peter? I'm sorry. You, 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 I, Jim, you broke up a little bit. I couldn't really hear your question. Uh, I'm having computer issues. My computer, unfortunately. Yeah, you. I couldn't hear your question. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So the question was, have you seen the site, and would you like to walk there sometime? Yeah, definitely. Maybe that, that's the thing to do. I can. Um, I can set up a time. I'll meet you out there, and we can also maybe I'll, I'll print out some of the some of the material from some of the other manufacturers, and we can look at them in the field. Sounds good. Okay, good. Yeah, just let me know when you're uh, when you'd like to do that. All right, uh, Peter. We'll do. Um, yes, I don't know if this is appropriate or not, but um, I I was the one who designed the Russian boat trail for the state, um, and um, some of the sites in like Ashford and out out in the eastern Connecticut were active archaeological sites, and they were very cautious about identifying exactly where these artifacts were found because they didn't want people going in there and start digging. So I don't know um, if, if I mean, showing the artifacts is fine, but you might not want to say you, you specifically where they were found um, because you might have people searching for new ones. Yes, yeah, I mean, we, had, actually, uh, we have people consistently searching for new ones. They already know where it is, but uh, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure how to I do want to say the artifacts are there, and uh, I don't know. You're right that that's something to think about. Um, yeah, we just, that we just have to make sure. Yeah, we'll find some time to see it. But. Yeah, we just have to make sure the final narratives are general enough, not to give mm -hmm. away any uh, any location uh, secrets. We told Amy had uh, we had talked about this at a previous meeting. Uh, as, so as the final narrative gets uh, developed, we have to be mindful of that. Right. Okay. So in terms of citations, it looks like last time for quotations, uh, people use the author's name and the dates of the quotation. Is that gonna be the same this time around or is it different this time? I think we should be as consistent as we can with the, you know, the other panels. So if that was the practice, then I think we should try and 
you know, be, be, be consistent with that. Okay. Thank you. Your question. Okay. So you're all set. No, I, I have another question, Peter. Sure. It's a bit premature, perhaps, but in case we get asked um, when the church has to decide exactly where to place the, um, the panel um, on our property, do you, is there a specific deadline that they have to make that decision? I think if um, the one thing, and once again, I don't know what images you you are you know planning to use in your panel, but if you are um, using images of the of the church and you want to have the viewer have the same perspective uh, today as that image you know projected back whenever that was uh, you know that might guide uh, your location where you want to place it so i think um you know, we did um on the on on um the side of lucky lose there's a, a heritage walk panel that looks down the street from the perspective where there was a there was a house there that was moved um, so we tried to get that location and put that exhibit there so that you are you're, you've got the same perspective as they had when the photo was taken so um, once again I think it depends on you know what you're trying to portray in the um, exhibit but uh, that might be the, the clue as to where you want to locate the panel but um, if if you're not trying to do that then the location can can wait almost to the day it gets installed, for example. Oh. And we had to move a couple because of um, underground utilities. So even then, and we won't do that until we actually pick the location and they're getting scheduled to install them. So um, that's another factor sometimes that uh, surprises you at the end. Okay, so at least uh, uh, until we have the final design, it'll right. be after that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, any other um, questions or concerns or? I think Phil like, might be, um, Phil, you might be muted. There we go, there, there we go. yep. Um, where, the, where the directory map is gonna be by the bump out by village there, um, this is a little early to talk about it. Maybe just have it on a schedule. That the, what what is the actual plan for that? Um, does it need paving there? Is it a kiosk? Is it a? Um, you, we talked about. It's not going to look like these other panels. It, it's going to be. Um, I don't know what it is. It's a you call we're calling it a kiosk. Yep. It's uh, well. I think we're we're gonna. It might end up being um, similar to the. Um, Washington Rochambeau one across the street. Uh, that design allows us to slide in a new uh, panel uh, relatively easily mm -hmm. uh, and affordably because that particular, uh, the business directory is, is obviously businesses come and go and we're going to have to update that periodically. Uh, the, uh, the kiosk that we designed for the other heritage walk is not so easily changed out uh, and it's much more expensive. So I think um, if you wanna look at the uh, design across the street for the Washington Rochambeau, that's probably the design, um, the base that we're gonna use. Th that one also comes in a single pedestal design as well, rather than the two legs. So you and I can probably talk a little bit about that at some point, but it is gonna have to be different because it's the only panel that will likely have to be uh, modified maybe even once a year as businesses come and go. Okay. Will that also be uh, two by three feet or? or yeah, it'll, it'll be this, it'll be consistent, consistent size. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Might be off by an inch or two, but um, they're pretty tip, they're pretty standard sizes. Phil, there's also a trash can in the way too. We got to move. They put a they put a trash receptacle there but one weekend. So, yeah. 
Yeah, it's, I'm, I just have a vision of there being some flagstone deck below it so that people are not, you know, yep. kicking it up. Yeah, so they would, they would, they would probably do that after the, uh, the installation. I think the garage has either a supply of, um, you know, pavers, paver bricks, or we can install, you know, bluestone. But I think it, I think it's pretty much surrounded by brick now. So maybe that's the, maybe that's the solution. Okay. Okay. Good. Anyone else? Okay, so uh, uh, onward and upward, uh, let's um, encourage each other and uh, get these designs uh, uh, going. And um, Jim, if, as I say, uh, don't be shy about reaching out to us if you need anything. And I'm happy to meet you out there and um, help you help you move, move it along. So um, don't forget July 13th, we'll meet again. Uh, hopefully that's a night that's good for everybody. Uh, if it isn't, um, let me know. We can always change the date. I know as the summer progresses, sometimes it becomes more challenging. But um, so if anyone has a problem with that date, let me know in advance, and we can we can obviously find a, another another date to meet. Okay. Thanks for all your encouragement, everybody. <laughs> We're behind you, Jim. Yeah. yeah, we we will. We'll keep you on task, Jim. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. Thanks, Thanks, again. Thanks again.